Hi, this is Access Tutorial 1, Case Problem 1. And the first thing we have to do is create a blank database named Pine Hill. I already renamed it. And then you have to click Create. Then they want us to change the ID field to Teacher ID. So just double click and then rename it. Then we have to change the type of the field to so text because right now it's in numbers and they want it in text. So in data type, oh, click the arrow and change it to text. Then we have to add new fields and most of them are text fields and one of them is date and time. So click the text and the first one is going to be first name. The next one is also a text and it's last name. Next one is degree, also text. And then school, another text one. And the last one is date and time and it's higher date. And then we have to save the table as teacher, so just click the save icon and then rename it and press OK. In step 4 we have to enter the records shown in figure 131 and the way you enter your record is by clicking on your cell. You type in anything you need to type and then press the tab key and to move to the next one and so on. So I am going to pause the video to enter all the data and save time and then I'll be back to it. So here is my table with all the data entered and one nice trick is that since the higher date is a date and time type of data, you don't have to type in 2012 for the year, you can just type in 12 and it does it automatically. Now in step 5 we have to copy the records from the faculty table in the school database and paste them right here. So I'm going to go in my folder. Actually first thing you have to open a new Microsoft Access and then in open you search for the database. And it's right here. Double click it to make it show and then click the button in the corner this way the entire table highlights Then click the copy button and then go back to the pine hill and then make sure an arrow shows so this way the entire table gets pasted and not just one column and then click paste. In step 6 we have to resize the columns so that the data fits properly. So click any of the cells and then make sure the double arrow shows and double click it and do that for each one of them. This way they adjust automatically according to the text. Now we have to close the teacher table and reopen it, so this way it's going to be sorted ascendingly according to the teacher ID. So close it, yes, save everything, and then reopen it so you can see that teacher ID is sorted nicely. In step 8 we have to use a simple query wizard to create a query that includes the first name, last name, and higher date. So in create, click the query wizard, and you want simple, and then select the fields which you like to use, so first name, last name, and higher date. Then click next, and they want us to rename it as start date and then 
complete finish. Then we have to use the form tool to create a form for the teacher table. So click on the teacher table and again in create, click form. And this is it. And you can see that there is one form for each teacher. They want us to save this and um, rename it teacher info. To save. Then we have to close it. And the last thing we have to create is a report of, of the teacher table. So click report. And we have to make sure that all the fields fit within one page. So we have to resize them all. Making sure that everything fits. One thing is that if you don't click on one of the cells, the double arrow won't show. So now everything shows within that within one page. That's what the data line represents. And then we have to move the page number to the left. So click on it and then just use the left arrow to move it over. And then another thing is we have to make sure that the number 12 the total number of teachers fits within this box. So same idea, click on it, wait for the double arrow and make sure it fits. Now we have to display the report in print preview to make sure that everything we adjusted actually worked and everything fits on one page and it does including the page number. And then we have to save it as teacher list. And the last step, we have to close everything and then compact and repair the Pine Hill database. So close the report and the table and everything else and then in database tools just press the compact and repair and this is the end of this tutorial thank you